2 2. Line drive, base hit. Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A Rod's at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammer to pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Hammered deep left center field. Way back. Goodbye. Wow. Adrian Beltran and the Rangers walk it off. Seven to six. One ball and one strike. Fastball punched on the ground. Utley kicks it. Still plenty of time. Wow! Utley sprawled in the dirt, flipped it back, and accurately to Gonzalez for an out. We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. The calendar has turned to September and we're ready for baseball between the New York Mets and the Houston Astros. It's interleague baseball on MLB Network. Charlie Morton, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. Harold, what do you got? Matt, uh, he's coming off a great outing in my mind. I mean, he pitched it to the ninth inning. He got the win for his team. He's a guy that's durable and is able to go deep in games. Hopefully, we'll see that again from him today. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. Here's the one and one delivery. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. And Harold, these Astros entering play here tonight. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short term memory. And you really do. The game's over. You can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. Spoils another one. And this is exactly what you're looking for out of your leadoff hitter. The next 3 2. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with as Drupal Cabrera. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Right. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Got time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, I like Jerry Hillsdale, and so do the hitters and the pitchers. We won't see a whole lot of arguing with his strikes on. He's one of the better guys in the league. Really consistent. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Now Cabrera awaits the 2 2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3 and 2. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it. Two gone. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Ready on one and two. Squared that one up just a little late. Here's another one two. 
And another foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Now the Astros will get their first opportunity. No score. Robert Gesellman gets the call for game one of the series. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. The ERA totally inflated. It's over five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. And he's just not giving his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. Here's Nori Aoki. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 1 and 2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that will end up a foul ball. Again, a 1 2. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. To right field. There to take it is Cespedes is one away. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Yeah, I know this club loves what Evan Gaddis brings to its offense. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last 10 games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. Here's George Springer. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. One out, nobody on. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And that's going to land foul. The 0-2 once more. And the changeup is way low that time. There's that classic 0-2 changeup. That is such a tough pitch to lay off. Nice job of hitting right there. Look, the reason it's tough, because the fastball looks just like the changeup coming out of the hand. You got to honor the fastball, and then he pulls the string on you. Nice Having take. Started. Got him swinging on the fastball right. there. George okay. Springer out becomes super. out number two this inning. Digging in, Jose Altuve. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Hit hard towards center. That gets down, and the inning continues. So the first two batters of the inning go out, and then the three hitter gets a base hit forward. here, bringing up the Catcher. middle of the order. This Evan. guy's got power. It Catcher. could be 2 nothing before you blink. Evan Gaddis now standing in. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Drilled right back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. A little two out rally going on right now. Back to back base hits and now your runners at first and third. And let's see maybe they'll try to steal a run here. And there's a lot of things that still happen with two outs in the inning. Into the box now. Josh Reddick line to the right side. But foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Liner toward right center and a base hit and that's going to chase in the run from third. The Astros are off to a one nothing lead. Two out two strikes down to the last strike of the inning and he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling. Right Here's Carlos Correa now. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Oh. 
And that's in there. Base hit. Gaddis is on his way home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Obviously, this is a pitcher's nightmare, but it's a manager's nightmare, too. It's only the first and inning in the starter has already given up four hits. The last one, an absolute frozen rope. The last thing he wants to do is get someone up in the pen, but he might not have any other choice. Into the box, Carlos Beltran. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Ligares is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. Here's Juana Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. One and two, here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Therefore, it is the Gold Glover Reddick, and he's got it one away. Got All right, back. time for the majestic Three defensive alignment for the Astros. Hey, and hey, yes, right. they are moving all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics, and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. Standing in, David Wright. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Tough one to lay off, fall to strike. Ready on 1 and 2. Hit on the ground to short. Correa fields it cleanly. Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Batting set. Catcher. Now batting, Travis, Travis Darno. Hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at bats or time in the field. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Aoki has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Mets leave one. They trail it here, two to nothing. Stepping into the box, Yulieski Guriel. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Hot shot on the ground is short. Right there is Reyes. One away. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three game winning streak. Fastball in there, 3 and 2. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now batting, left fielder. Ready for Nori another chance. Aoki. Nori Aoki, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bases are empty here with two men out. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. I don't know what was going on with him in the first inning. He had a bad first inning. This looks like a totally different pitcher here in the second. Really starting to settle in. Really starting to throw strike. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. Astros go down one, two, three. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. Ready on one and two. And this is fouled straight back. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up on the backhand. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. In now, Juan Ligares. A high fastball is in there. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. To third. Throw on to first. Two gone. Shortstop number seven. Jose Digging Reyes. in for his second at bat. Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. The next 3 2. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Mets go down 1 2 3. They're down two to nothing. Digging in to try it again. George Springer, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first down. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. One out now in the Houston third and striding in the speedy second baseman Jose Altuve. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a ball line foul up and over the Astro dugout. Bases are empty. One man out. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Riding in once again, Evan Gaddis. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. Hard on the ground towards short to Cabrera for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Astros two and the Mets nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Drupal Cabrera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a knuckle curve missed that time 2 and 1. A swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. 
and gone an absolute bomb a solo home run a solo shot here to straightaway right field number 14 on the season and the Mets are on the scoreboard it's now a two to one game. Only the first hit of the night but it was a big one he absolutely punished that mistake and you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Standing in now Michael Conforto and he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Line to the right side. But an Adam Bull right to him for the first out. Now batting. Right fielder. Yoenis Into the box Cespedes. now. Joanna Cespedes. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And that misses two and one. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Runner at first here, one man out. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but right able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with that running action on that two-seam fastball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box now, Travis Darno. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Line toward the alley and left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The relay. Throw won't get him. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Batter, Look out. Nine. Seven games. That's, That's one week of feeling pretty good. Brandon. Let's see how long he can make this last. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Set to deliver on two and one. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. He dives and makes a phenomenal catch as he takes away a run for sure. And the side is retired. That's as good a play as you're going to see a second baseman make. And he does it to end the inning. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. Digging in, Josh Reddick. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Here he comes again, 1 2. There's a hard hit ball, and it's going to get over the head of Ray as it's short. It's a base hit. Ball's on the outside half. You go with the pitch. Old school textbook well, hitting. Stayed with it and drove that ball over the shortstop head. Correa.
Stepping into the box, Carlos Correa looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Bouncer down the line, but that one rolls foul. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Hit to short. To second for one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. Designated hitter, Carlos Beltran. Now to the plate, Carlos Beltran. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the one and two delivery. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think it's right where he wanted it to end up. But he there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is Cespedes. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here for Carlos Beltran. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And with it, the Astros have taken a 3-1 to one lead. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning. But he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot as the result. Stepping in now, Yulieski Gurriel. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Cespedes is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Astros get a run here courtesy of the solo homer. We're through four. It's now three to one Houston. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Another 1-2 delivery. A fastball that just misses inside. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. Altuve has it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. The center fielder number Here's Juan Ligares. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The one and two pitch. This is skied into short left center. Aoki is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Shortstop number seven. Jose Here's the Reyes. shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. 3 to 1 our score as we play inning number five. 2-1 pitch is a knuckle curve taken for a called strike two. Set to deal on two and two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. As Dribble Cabrera would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. The batter number 13. Trying to pick things up where he left off as Bruno Cabrera comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. Turned on down the line. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Met strand one. Score holds. It's three to one. 
There's Marwin Gonzalez now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Ligaris comes on now and he has it one down. Here's Nori Aoki. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Three runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cabrera ranging into the outfield. Two down. Here's George Springer. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Well, that was two quick outs right there, getting those guys in front of him. But now the two hitter comes to the plate. Right here, you look to either get on base any way you can, hit a gapper, anything. Because you want to. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Astros. And it's still three to one. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto will start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Softly hit here to the left side. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Well, when you lead off an inning, right you become the leadoff Your guy. Winner. Get on That's any way better. you can. And right there, that little infield single, as innocent as it might look, might start a rally for them. Do anything you can to get on. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hey, I turn the double play for one. Two and one now to Cespedes. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, he falls behind three one right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. Ready on three and one, here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. The second for one. Throw on to first won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Well, when this play started, it all looked good. They get the lead runner no problem, but he just doesn't make the return throw, and the hitter ends up safely at second. Not the result they were hoping for on what should have been a nice double play. Standing in now, David Wright. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Aoki ranging back. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now Standing in is the potential tying Travis. run, Darnell. Travis Darnot. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Now some action out in the Houston bullpen, as it appears both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. A high fastball is in there. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Rip down the first base line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Another no hit. Another multi-hit game. He has there. been on some kind of hot streak. They better start paying attention to him. Into the box now. Brandon Nimmo. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Oh, come on. 
The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. Throw to the plate, and the recovery will be in time. He's out at the plate. And a costly decision to try for it there as all of a sudden the inning is now over. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. It's the Astros three, and the Mets one. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. It was a walk in his last trip. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, catcher. Evan Gaddis Evan. now standing catcher. in. He's one for two in the ball game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Well, I think that might have been ball four, but you never want the umpire to decide now that. Back. Go ahead and let it fly. Right fielder, Josh Reddick. In now, Josh Reddick. Runner goes for second. Ripped down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Gaddis rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position. And he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Into the box. Carlos Correa turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul well he got what he's looking for he just got out in front of it right there this is skied into the air to straightaway center Lagares is there two gone and no tag at second he'll head back there with two away now now batting digging in once again Carlos Beltran comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier runner in scoring position at second with two down Shot towards second, and that's in there. Base hit. Reddick rounds the corner and is headed home. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. When that ball's hit to the outfield right there, I didn't think they were going to send it because he's got such a great arm. But clearly, he got home before the throw got there. That's a great play. Standing in now, Yulieski Guriel. A ball hit hard to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. Now Stepping in and ready for another Thank shot, you. Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, you wouldn't have expected this kind of at bat out of him, but he's fought himself right back with an opportunity now to really drive in two runs. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. This is line to left. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We're through six full. It's the Astros five and the Mets one. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. It's on to the seventh now with the Astros on top in this one. And as the final warm-up tosses are thrown, let's get a look at our game summary through six innings. Michael Feliz is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Digging in to try it again, Brandon Nimmo. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hit on the ground out to short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. 
Now batting. Stepping up now, T.J. Rivera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. Seventh inning here in a 5 to 1 ball game. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. So he sets him down swinging. T.J. Rivera goes down for out number two in the top half. Stepping in now, Juan Ligares. And a full count now, three and two. Grounded to short. Correa scoops it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They're down five to one. Rafael Montero. It's the now call from the pen to take over on the mound Number and start 50, the home seven. Rafael Montero. Here's Nori Aoki. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. Center fielder number four. Here's George Springer. George. No hits in three Springer. tries so far. He struck out once. Reached for and popped into the air back behind second. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Here's the second, base second baseman, Jose Altuve. A hit in two tries so far. Two out, nobody on. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Lays off two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. His timing looks good right there, Matt. That's falling up after a fastball. He still is able to get a piece of that breaking ball. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. Well, you went right after him with a 3-2 fastball. That's what you're going to do with guys that are struggling. This time, he just beat you. Into the box now, Evan Gaddis. And here's a ball hit in the air. Wright is there for it. it. And that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Astros five and the Mets one. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. He'll try it again, three and two. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Astros on top in front of the home crowd here at Minute Maid Park as you get a look at the line score to this point here in the eighth inning. Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's working on a one for three thus far. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
mind to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Standing in, Michael Conforto. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Oh, that was a good-looking slider to hit. It kind of hung him one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you, that's the one you, you annihilate. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Here's the pitch on two and two. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Well, right here, this is what you live for. When you know you got a great hitter behind you, you're getting a good count. He's in a count right here, and just look for your pitch. You know they got to come after you. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They're down here five to one. Digging in and looking for more, Josh Reddick. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Now batting. Here's Carlos Correa now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. liner but picked up on a hop throw in time at first for out number two here's Carlos Beltran he homered earlier and is two for three to this point five one our score as we play the eight lifted the other way out to left center Conforto moves over makes the catch and that'll retire the side Astros go down one, two, three. They lead this one, though, five to one. A beautiful look there at the downtown aquarium here in Houston as we welcome you back to baseball on MLB right, Network. Luke Gregerson comes on from the pen, hoping Number to finish this one off here in the top Luke of the ninth. Gregerson. Here's Juana Cespedes. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Line towards center field. Springer is right there, one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the box, David Wright. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. One out, nobody on. In the air, out toward right field. Reddick back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. His lifetime numbers against Gregerson. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Here's the one and two delivery. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. And this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. 
back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. On the first, and that's your ball game. Well, listen, you always want to finish strong, and they've done a real good job here notching the win on the first day of September. They're hoping that's a sign of good things to come in this final month of the season. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five to one, the final score. Charlie Morton picks up his team best 14th win in this one. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. Five runs on 11 hits. One error. They left six men on base. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Here's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another.